Come to Barnes and Noble with me. I'm so ugly. I've hey, been bitch. wearing this fit for days. I'm only here to return books. I kind of wanna ask them if they have Addie LaRue to stir up some shit. My stomach is making weird noises. Like, shut up, Miss Girl. This is all so pretty but expensive. And for what? I asked and they said no because it's been blowing up on TikTok. I didn't say it was me because I'm shy. He looks hot. This looks nice. People keep looking I at me. I hate sus. So does this. She looks hot too. I'm getting this. I don't know what this is about, but I'm it getting looks cool. all this. You can't afford Why this. Why the fuck are there so many teenagers here? I'm, I'm scared. scared. It is pretty here outside Chicago. Now I'm hungry. I want noodles. I don't remember locking my car. Fantastic. My best friend and I have a tradition where we go book shopping every time I go home to visit, so I'm going to take you with us. The morning started off by Heather picking me up saying, get in loser, we're going book shopping. And we headed straight to our favorite brunch place and of course had to get some drinks to blame our book buying tendencies on. But we got our breakfast, which was so delicious, and then we headed straight to our favorite independent bookstore called Main Street Books, which is on Main Street in St. Charles, and it is the cutest little bookstore. But if you go upstairs, they house my favorite section, which is the YA section. And of course, we had to stop and look at these ugly new Akatar covers in the wild. Ugh, yikes. But we secured our purchases and headed to our second stop, which is Half Price Books, which is my absolute favorite used bookstore and how I can get so many hardcovers for cheap. Usually when we come here, we head straight towards the back to the teens fiction section, but I did stop and find an annotated copy of Final Girls by Riley Sager himself, so I knew I had to get it. So I tossed that in our basket and we made our purchases, and then here's my final book haul, and Heather ended up buying half the store. But that's it, bye! Come charity book shopping with me. Welcome to Hay on Wye, also known as the book capital of Britain. It's a small town with 1,500 people and 30 bookshops, meaning one bookshop for every 50 people. It seemed logical for two bookworms on their anniversary. Hay has antique shops, art galleries, jewellery shops, but obviously we came for the books. There's a bookshop for everyone here. They sell everything from antique Victorian children's books to penguin cloth band classics for less than half price. I saw some popular first editions. I know lots of you would like the manga section in this shop. Oh, this one's known as the murder bookshop because it's full of murder books and disturbing thrillers. I love the poetry bookshop, but my favorite is the Hay Cinema bookshop because it's built like an airplane hangar and there are whole corridors dedicated to classics. President Bill Clinton came here once and said that the literary festival was like Woodstock for the mind. It's a great place to visit if you love reading. The books are affordable, we came away with a few each and these two might be my favourites. So today is the day that all the shops open, so I am here, surprisingly. Ta-da! Let's do this. Oh, that is cold. Some girls just recognized me for the first time and it's adorable. Okay, now I'm actually gonna cry. Gotta focus on the books, focus on the books. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Can I buy the sequel to a book I haven't read yet? The answer is yes. Yes. I don't think it's very fair that books cost money. <laughs> they don't have the book I want, but they have the sequel, which is just sad. I wanna read it, but I know it will break me. So our section is just most fictional quotes, but make it books. I needed this book last year. I held back, I promise. I've still only been through the first floor, so part two. <laughs> part two of my bookstore adventure. I want all of this and that. That is adorable. I already feel like enough of a giant being 5'10". I want it. I've still only been through the first floor of the bookshop, so I'm gonna show you why I love this bookshop so much. Apparently this bookstore used to be some sort of like hotel a hundred years ago, which means the bookstore has a huge section like this. Because I'm excited, I think we're excited. I think this shows the difference between cats and dogs perfectly fine. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been looking for this for ages. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I've never played, but I really want to. Hell yes. I'm running away from the educational books. Uh 
have that. These videos have been pure chaos in <laughs> my life. Today I went book shopping in what I think is the coolest Barnes & Noble in the entire world so I just have to show you. So this Barnes & Noble set up inside what once was an old movie theater that was built for Fox Studios back in 1938. I came here looking for one book so I'm trying my hardest to stay focused. They have a section devoted to LGBTQ lit so here are some of the queer books that I highly recommend you all check out. They also have this really cute beignet food truck out front and then I bought two books instead of one. I got a rose for you. I got a rose for the song. I got a rose for me. People who eat. Don't tell them. I got a rose. book shopping with me. Today we're heading over to my local chapters. I walked into this thriller table, I'm gonna grab this one. I love browsing the sales section, you can find some gems in here. Next up is my favorite, the fiction section. I just read Dark Matter and loved it, so I'm picking up his other book. And Beloved by Toni Morrison, and the new Kristen Hanna. They have the cutest stationery here, I'm picking up this pink notebook to use for work. They had this blind date with a book for charity, which I thought was so cool. So I picked up this one. That's it, thanks for watching. In honor of Pride Month, me, a bisexual, and my bisexual mother have gone book shopping together to buy gay books. But also self-control, so I've only got two so far. Also, I am card exempt before anyone says anything. My goal for today is get gay books. Oh, so busy. I already have it, I don't need another. Two copies is enough, two copies is enough. Yes. So I just got home from the bookshop and I forgot to film anything more because I have memory problems. So I'm just going to show you what I got. But I also can't be bothered to set up my filming equipment. So I'm just going to start. Here's guys. First I got A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, which is my token straight book. I think it's straight. <laughs> Secondly, Captain Hearts of Oz. I didn't actually read the description and I have no idea what it's about, but the cover's pretty. And now for the gay books. First we have Not My Problem, which is recommended to me by the person who works there. And lastly, you should see me in a crowd, which I've been wanting to get for a really long time. <laughs> Come book shopping with me, Indecisive Bookworm Edition. Oh, MG, it's so big. That's what she said, haha. -ha. Oh, look, it's home. Three of Crows. Daddy. I love this book. Watch me struggle. WTF is this? It should be a crime to only sell the sequel. That's right, Pony Boy. The cover. Oh no. Narrowing it down. OMG, look what I found. Emma, get it. Goodbye, book buying band. Call coming soon. even know these stores existed. So cheap. A signed copy. So many 
books. Everything is above for stars. What? Here's my haul. I love the cover. A must buy. So fun!